Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to the Golden Disc Awards 2024 red carpet. We're going to be jumping into these red carpet looks, kicking off with our host, the rest of the red carpet attendees, and then jumping into my best and worst dress section. I do normally include a trend section with these videos, but going through all of these looks, I couldn't pull a trend out. Not enough people are wearing one thing for me to call it a trend. And I'm not going to bullshit you. So let's just jump straight in to our red carpet. Starting off with our host, Sung Si Kyung and Unu. I like the fact that we have Sung Si Kyung stood in the black and then Unu in the white. It's giving me like an angel devil kind of moment. Sung Si Kyung's look is classic menswear. We're getting the Noc Chappelle jacket, one button. I do like the detail of the white edging along the collar lapel and the pockets and how it ties in to the bow tie. Nothing revolutionary, but it is a nice menswear look. I do really like Anu's all white look. The only thing that I dislike about this is that we obviously have that satin shawl lapel on the jacket and then it's been styled with a white silk shirt. So those two textures sitting right on top of each other is just too similar, especially when it comes to photography, but I do think the fit of the suit is really beautiful on him. And as hosts, they're giving us the classic host vibe where it does lead more classic. It's nothing too interesting or exciting. And I'm starting to feel like that's just on purpose. It's about the attendees, not the hosts, unless they want it to be. <laughs> Moving on to Boy Next Door, we're moving back into their The Fact Music Awards and their Mama kind of vibe where they were giving us the black and white standard K-pop red carpet looks. That's what we're getting here. So it is nice, but after seeing them, the Melon Music Awards, the Asia Artist Awards, where they like served it out, I find this a bit disappointing. It's not bad. It's still nice. It's just they like peaked, stayed up there, and now they're like... Mm going going back down so it's nice i do like the different styles of the ties because it keeps it you know unique to each member's looks but we've seen way more exciting looks from boy next door in hypen i think this is one of the more slash if not most contemporary looks we've seen on in hypen this end of year show season but regardless of that i still think it is boring especially when we compare it to how they were styled two years ago. That was the first time I was reviewing K-pop red carpets and every time they came out it was serve after serve after serve and it made me excited to see in hyphen on the red carpet whereas this season I have not had the same excitement. I do think the silhouettes are really nice. These are contemporary cuts of tailoring and we're getting those straight to wide cut trousers of all of the members with the sneakers which immediately just brings the tailoring up to date so it is nice but I just miss how they were styled two years ago like it was honestly so exciting and I still feel like even if you put those looks on the red carpet now they would still be incredibly exciting. Next up our first female idol on the red carpet we have 5050's Kina. This has a lot of potential but the styling and the fit really lets us down. I think the bralette that's styled underneath this sheer stoned metallic dress is a nice choice, but the skirt lets it down. I think the skirt is too long. Even if we took this up by an inch or two, I think it would really improve the overall look of this dress. And then the fact that the skirt comes down it's a bit too long. And then when we look at the shape of the skirt of the dress, it's just very shapeless from the hip. It just drops to the floor and we can see that this is way too long for her. I understand that altering a dress like this, it's not like just sewing a hem up that you can then take down. This is a fabric that most likely needs to be cut. So, you know, it's an alteration you can't undo. So I do understand it, but it just looks annoying, like having to like pick it up, drop it down, pick it up, drop it down. At least it's coming to the floor. It's not one of those really annoying floating hems that just looks incredibly awkward, but it doesn't look right. This dress needs alteration. If we just bought that skirt in just ever so slightly tighter on the hip, the thigh, and then let it skim 
to the floor from that point. Immediately more flattering. And then the styling just doesn't make sense to me. Why are you going to wear a sheer, completely embellished dress and then put this like statement Gucci pendant over the top? It's not necessary and nor is the strappy shoe underneath. Just go for a very clean heel that really extends the leg. That in combination with the skirt that's just slightly shorter is really going to elongate the leg and then elongate the body. So potential but fit issues, styling issues. Sticking with our female idols we've got Ive and this is Ive's stage look on the red carpet and I think this works really well as a red carpet outfit and Ive this season it's honestly like day and night from what they were giving us last year where it was so uncohesive, it was confused, whereas all of their looks this red carpet season, maybe apart from SBS, they've been incredibly cohesive. And I only mentioned SBS because Eugene was in her host look, the other girls were, I believe, in the stage outfit, so it just didn't gel. But we don't know what happens behind the scenes, if she can change, if she can't, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, this is incredibly cohesive. It gives us this very soft, feminine, ethereal, fairy vibe from the uses of the soft fabrics, the ruffles, the colour palette, these very soft blues and yellows. And you can see that there are slight tonal differences, but not enough to where it's like, whoa, too much, as we've seen previously. Not from I've just other <laughs> red carpet looks. Over the top of these really soft, beautiful feminine dresses, I are wearing corsets from a brand called Mermaid Lucia, and I believe these corsets are made out of risen. Risen? Risen? Resin. Jesus Christ. I love the way these corsets finish off these looks. It adds a toughness to these looks, but it doesn't take away from the soft, feminine, ethereal, fairy vibe, all the adjectives in there for you. <laughs> I think if you took these corsets away, these looks would immediately lose so much impact. So I think the styling is perfect, it looks good on stage, it looks good on the red carpet, and the way I are continuing with this cohesion on the red carpet, just props to that shift change. Next up, the Seraphim. <laughs> the dresses are nice, but this is no competition with their SBS red carpet looks. If you've not seen my short form video about that, I'll leave it dropped in the description box, but that set of looks, Oh my god, it was incredible. The girls looked sleek, they looked cool, they looked cohesive. They were like the baddies of SBS. This is a nice set of looks. I do like the neutral tones and I like the fact that each tone is slightly different on each member. It's been taken into consideration. These tones can very easily wash someone out. They're not doing that on the members because of that consideration. But it's just a series of nice dresses with not much styling. We've got a very similar shoe on all of the members. We're getting that ankle strap that cuts all of their legs off at the same point. So it's nice, but we've seen way better from the Seraphim. The girl groups are continuing. I feel like there's a lot of girl groups at the Golden Disc Awards and I ain't mad. I feel like the past few shows have been very like boy group heavy. So the girls are out and about. So continuing with our girl groups, we have new jeans and I'm really enjoying seeing new jeans in a separate red carpet look from their stage looks. I believe we've seen it now at Golden Disc and SBS, whereas previously it was stage looks on the red carpet. My comments are very similar to their SBS looks. I do like it and I can see where it's going, but overall, I do think it just reads very somber on the red carpet. And I think it's to do with the color palette. It's very muted, cool tones. Like the colors just look sad, do you know? I also think the cuts in combination of the styling with the socks, it just gives a somber vibe. That aside, I think this is a very cohesive set of looks and it's very soft and feminine and all of the members look beautiful as always. I think my favorite thing about New Jeans red carpet look is how we're getting this asymmetric hem that's been used ever so slightly different 
in all of the members. Hien, for example, you can see that asymmetric shear piece coming out from the grey solid. Then on Hani next to her, she's got a very similar cut, but the dress is that same fabric draping around. So the use of the asymmetric across all the members, but used slightly differently, I think it's really cool. I'm in two minds on how I feel about the socks with the open-toed ankle strap shoes. I think it would have been nice to see some variation in the length of socks, just so it wasn't so samey, but jury's out on the socks and heels. Next up in our girl group line, we have Stacy and Stacy are back to where I'm about to give them my classic commentary. Just because you're wearing the same colour doesn't make it cohesive. Just because we're in all white doesn't make it cohesive. None of these dresses have details that pull them together. It's not like two members have a similar thing or like two members have bows or two members have metallic edging that pull it together. Each member has their own vibe going on in just white dresses. So it looks like they've all been styled separately and then they've met the event. So when there's a lack of cohesion, I'm like, meh. So next. Back to our boys, back to our boy groups, we have 17 and I'm disappointed with this. I'm really disappointed with this and it makes me sad because I love Seventeen and their look at last year's Golden Disc Awards was one of my favourites. This sick contemporary black and white moment, the way black and white was balanced across all of the members. I believe it was DK in that beautiful Casablanca suit. Here, this is so toned down, it's so classic and it's kind of similar to what we got at the Mama, but at Mama, we had these really sick silhouettes, the strong shoulders, whereas here, the silhouettes aren't that interesting. So it's just very classic looks that have all come together. Sun Kwan is the only one that's given me a little, little something, a little pizzazz with the embellishment around the collar and the pearl of his jacket. They all look handsome. They always do. But we're here to talk about the clothes and the clothes are boring. So I am disappointed. Stray Kids. I feel like this year, my comments for Stray Kids have been very, very similar to In Hypen, which is interesting because when I was obsessed with In Hypen's red carpet fashion, I was also obsessed with Stray Kids red carpet fashion. That season was so strong for them. Every time there was a red carpet coming up, I was like, I hope they're attending. I want to see what they're wearing. Even when it came to last year's red carpet season, I was like, in hype and stray kids, but are they? I want to see. I want to see. Whereas now I'm just like, <laughs> I don't want to see. Stray kids are continuing with this toned down vibe that they've been giving us this entire hand movement off camera, entire end of your show season. And in my opinion, this isn't particularly cohesive either. And stray kids always nail the cohesion. So I'm, I'm surprised. Maybe it's got something to do with individual members having brand deals. I'm not sure, but that's not stopped Stray Kids from being cohesive previously. Ian and Sungmin are giving us pinstripe. Ian's pinstripe is way more obvious. Sungmin's is very, very subtle. It looks more of like a jacquard or like a woven fabric. So, you know, it's a very subtle thing on camera. Lino in the Gucci jacquard jacket, he's looking fine as fuck. He always does, but none of the other members are in jacquard, so it stands alone. Changbin is in the satin shirt with plain black trousers. It's a very boring look. Usually we see him in like this really sick crop jacket moment that gives us like a little bit of a standout. Not here. And where is satin on any of the other members? You see where this is going. Bang Chang, where does the sheer and the gold on that scarf tie into any of the other members? Felix in this incredibly cropped jacket. No other members are in cropped jackets. And then Han on the very end in the leather pants. There's no leather pants used on any of the other members. And usually we see these elements doubled up on the members. So it pulls everything together. And this may seem harsh, but when you have a red carpet favourite and they are a favourite back to back to back to back to back. It sets a certain bar, a certain expectation 
and then that for that to not be there, like I'm gonna be harsh. I'm sorry. I don't think it was that harsh. I wasn't rude. It's just saying how you feel, guys. Giving us some colour on the red carpet, we have Girls' Generation Tiffany Young. The top half of the dress, I love an off-the-shoulder moment. You can't go wrong with the sweetheart neckline into the off-the-shoulder moment. It is a beautiful cut. It's been styled with the cow. The skirt of the dress, though, I feel like there are fit issues. It looks way too long. It just needs a little, like, inch or two taken up. And it just looks like there's too much fabric. Again, like my comments at the Soul Music Awards, I feel like if this was just a bit more sleek, a bit more fitted, it would really, really be a vibe. I also think there's a lack of styling. I love the fact that the clavicle has been kept clean. You know, that's a regular comment in those videos, but I don't see a statement earring. I don't see jewelry really put anywhere else apart from a few very subtle rings. So this look just needs a little finishing touch. Okay, our next, our next red carpet attendees have had a very hard time this end of year show season, and I'm pleasantly surprised by this look. We have TXT, I believe they're in Dior. I've seen a few looks of them recently where they've not been wearing Dior at SBS. They're wearing a combination of Egon Lag, Ferragamo, and a few other brands at Circle Chart Music Awards. They're wearing Ami Paris. That video will be coming. Subscribe, stay tuned. You know the drill. I believe this is Dior, judging from the knitwear on Young June and then the pin, the brooch, going through Huyen Kai's jacket, you can see the CD. So I'm going to assume that this is Dior. This is a huge improvement from what we've seen them in previously. We're not gonna go back through those because it will make me cry. I think Huyen Kai, Bong Yu, and Taeyeon I haven't really lucked out here because we're just getting classic suits, shirts one open, a little brooch moment. But Su Bin, Yun June, have lucked out. Su Bin's suit, the cut of this suit, contemporary, relaxed, the wide cut trousers, and then that piece of knitwear all over the shirt. I love the fact it's not been tucked in. I think the fact that it's been left tucked out, it helps lean into the more relaxed, casual cut of the suit and then the fact that it finishes flush with the hemline of the jacket it gives it that sleek touch and then the fact that young june's look pretty much the same pieces when you think of it a suit a jumper a shirt but the fact that this is a slim cut and they've tucked the piece of knitwear in it immediately gives it a more formal smarter vibe so i love that they've done that i love this knit and then the colours of it, that very beautiful like cornflower blue, the brown, the white, the black, beautiful combination. I think my favourite thing about this look is the fact that the cuffs of the knitwear are longer than the cuff of the tailoring, so it comes out and gives this very kind of like cute, cosy moment. This is probably one of the more successful dual looks that we've seen TXT in. I don't think it's great because we have Huyen Gai Bong Yu Taeyeon in the kind of boring classic looks and then two members in the more contemporary fashion looks. So it's out of balance, it's not cohesive, but it's more successful than what we've seen previously. So it's a big moment for TXT <laughs> and Dior. <laughs> and finally finishing up with Zero Base One, I feel like we finish up every red carpet section with Zero Base One. These boys must be so bored of red carpets by now. Like, <laughs> they must. Zero Base One are continuing in this sleek luxury direction. If you've not seen my Soul Music Awards video, I spoke about how they've been on a journey with looks that just aren't very good, to looks that are interesting, but they look cheap, to now looks that are starting to give us this more like sleek, luxurious vibes, but they're not that interesting. And I kind of feel like that here, I do really like these looks and I do really like the details, the distribution of the gold, but it's nothing we haven't seen before. We're getting the classic boy group formula where we're getting the slim cut trousers and all of the members, very similar shoes, and then we're getting different 
on the top half. So it's a good way to create cohesion within the silhouette and then just switch up the details. Classic boy group formula. I think so far their strongest red carpet moment has been the Asia Artist Awards where they gave us the black and the red. And when I first saw those, I was like, fuck yes. But as I look closer into the details, it just started to look a bit cheap. Here, it's giving luxury vibes, but I just don't think the impact is as strong. As I mentioned, I do really love the gold accent and I love the fact that it's not overdone. It's very subtle in each of the members, but it all comes together so beautifully. I think June has been one of my favourites, the SB3, and then that leather strap that's underneath the collar and how it sweeps out over the shoulders, alluding to like harness vibe, but not like full harness. Do you know what I'm saying? If you don't, okay. <laughs> How this jacket looks like such a sick cut. It looks like a collarless jacket worn over the top of a jacket with a peak lapel. So like two jackets in one. And then the fact that they've snatched it at the waist, like a full fucking snatch. The gold buckle on the belt, the Gucci brooch. Great moment, classic K-pop red carpet. And the jacket is so interesting. And then Ricky giving us the Versace tailoring again. I think the cut of the tailoring isn't necessarily that interesting, but I love, love the gold Medusa head on the chest, that Versace belt, which you wouldn't know is Versace unless, you know, it was subtle. It's not like another Medusa head, we're getting the V, the gold snatched. Not snatched as how, but a subtle snatch. And then we're getting that very tiny Versace Medusa head bolo tie worn over the tie. All of the gold earrings. It has impact, but it's not like smacking you in the face impact. Do you know what I'm saying? Best dressed female idols for me, it has to be Ive. This was so beautiful. And then best dressed male group. I'm gonna give it to Zero Base One. I know I said that it's nothing that we haven't seen before, but I think this is a very successful red carpet for them. And I love the use of gold. Worst dress, it has to be Stacy. There's just no cohesion at all. It's not offensive. There's just zero cohesion. And in fairness to Stacy, if I'm gonna talk about a lack of cohesion, that means I do have to put stray kids in this worst dress section because again, there is no cohesion. And I think this is the first time I've ever put stray kids in my worst dress section and it makes me feel very bizarre. So I don't like this for them. I would need to let me know in the comments who has your favorite and least favorite looks. Again, a very eclectic red carpet, not seeing much repetition, not any trends, like, you know, we saw it the Mama, MMA, etc. So, what is an interesting one to review? If you've not seen my 33rd Soul Music Awards fashion review, just click here. But thank you so much for watching. A massive thank you to everyone who subscribed. You are amazing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.